Oh, hey, what's going on, guys? Joey's Robo here. I, mm, it just landed. Just landed. I'm gonna go for it. We're gonna, we're gonna try. We're gonna try our darndest. Shh, shh, my precious little cinnamon roll. Shh, 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 shh. Oh, we got it! Oh, I just mean that. Mm, I just mm, I just mean Trank, arrows, on to crossbow. Oh, it's happening. I regret nothing. Okay, I'm seeing some blood on its wings. Okay, it's getting pretty bloody. I think we have to switch the boomerang now. No! No! I should have built the stupid thing. <laughs> I should have built the house. I should have. Jara, where the fudge did you even go? I don't even know where it went, to be completely honest. Like, actually, where did he, where did it go? I don't think it would have flown downwards. I feel like it would have flown away. Oh, no. Did a a pair of scorpions spawned up here? Is it gone? Please don't tell me it's gone. Oh no! I don't think it fainted. I don't think I shot nearly enough tranks into it to faint. I think it just flew off. I think it must get really, really razzed whenever you, uh... Well, I mean, you, you, you I, I did shoot it in the face, to be fair, with a number of trank arrows, so I mean... Surprise, surprise, you, you get annoyed when you get that done to you, but... I think it, I think it just got too razzed and just flew off. Thus ends the tale, the tape Jara, the level 120. Like a dream, gone to the winds, never to be seen again, unless I happen to find it right now. No, but it appears to be gone. Hello? Wait, we're having we're having some conflicting reports. We're having some conflicting reports. Some people are saying that it might be down. I will check the perimeter. <gasps> it, it, it worked. Give me the meat. Stop eating. This is food for my child. You will give this to me. DJ Marie on Twitch. Bless up, fam. A thousand blessings upon your home. And a thousand blessings upon you. <sighs> Guys! And because the taming rate's so high, we have a chance for this to be a, a like, a quote-unquote perfect tame where it keeps 59 levels. It's possible. It's, it's, it's not, it's not a surefire thing. Okay. 
ladies and gentlemen, we, I, I don't have a GPS, but you must not forget. We are, this scene right here, do not forget this. We need to remember. Is that, is that a bug flying towards me? I, how dare you, how dare you, how dare you try to ruin this moment of beauty. How dare you, sir. Oh, Dainbo, yes! Give me your prime meat, give me your prime meat, give me your prime meat. <laughs> yeah, I'll hit back at you. Hiss, hiss, hiss. Okay. Now, give me your prime meat. Okay, very good. Swing back around. Okay. I don't, I, I, I should, if, if I can get the prime meat on to this guy. Okay. Let's take that off. I think if it eats this, it will be a perfect tame. And we get the dossier. I, I swear, if, if if there's like a giga that spawns in here, I'm gonna flip my dip. You can take all your dips. I want you to get some cheese dips, some salt. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, who have followed this arc series, we have accomplished something truly, truly wonderful today. I'd like you all to welcome Tape Jara into our family. I sound like I am dying. I am going to now bring the Tape Jara home and we are going to get it to safety. I don't care how unlikely it is that I could get killed out here, but that is a perfect tame. Our first perfect tame in all of Ark and it was oh this thing the wait was well worth it for those of you who are watching on youtube a little bit of context around the situation we actually only waited actually i started playing jazz music right about when this started i'll leave it on for the rest of the episode it's good luck we, we waited for maybe about 10 minutes or so i kind of poked around at it and kind of tried to chase it around so that was actually the result of not too terribly long of an extra wait there and it was just Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh. And actually, you know what? I can I can just fly. I can fly to my heart's content. And this one will keep up with me. Oh, I'm sprint flying and it's able to keep up. This is great. Oh. Look at this guy go. And there's like Air Force One of bugs behind me, but who cares? I'm sure the tape jar can honestly hold its own too. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it brought balance, it brought balance. In its final hours of being a wild pain in my butt, it became a pain in the butt that was worth it, but still a pain in the butt nonetheless. I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm not going to lie and say it wasn't a pain in the butt, but, oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, Tape Jara, you are so beautiful. All right, let's go ahead. Let's land it on down here. Let's get it down. All right, Tape Jara. I need you to land, buddy. I need you to land. Do you know how to land? Okay, it does know how to land. All right, cool. Even though, even though whenever we were trying to tame you, you, you really were a stubborn son of a gun. Let's see. Really bad... Melee damage, over 2,000 health, and 1,440 stamina. Now, I'm not going to really know what that truly translates into until we take to the skies here. But that, that to me, looks really low, actually. It looks, it looks really, really low for what I would expect. It does have 136.5% movement speed right out of the gate, though, which is unusual. Um, Molotovs, stop trying to hog the spotlight here. Argentavis, I need you to calm down. All right, you just need, need everyone needs to just chill out for a little bit. Tape Jara, yeah, unclaim, absolutely not. All right, change name, Anakin. You have brought balance to the force, Anakin. Well done. Well done. Tape Jara. Tape Jara saddle. It has three seats. If only I had friends. <laughs> Too soon. All right. Um. Let's see here. Roller tops. What in God's green earth are you doing? Uh. 
Okay, what is happening? This is getting really busy here. I don't know what's happening. All right, uh, we need the hide. Yes, I'll we'll take the hide. And we're gonna need some more. Okay, Morala Tops, you're really starting to rub me the wrong way. I need hide. This will work out. I need hide. If you could, if you could just guess, yes, sure. You can you can go into the house a little bit. Please don't go launching. All right, thank you. And and then this guy or girl, whatever. All right. Yep. Go ahead. I, I don't care if you are staying around, leaving, just make one option or the other happen. Oh my goodness, my heart is just pounding out of my chest and meat spoils so quickly. All right, let's see here, saddles. Tape, jara, hype. All right, so we have enough of that, we just need fiber. <laughs> fiber, fiber, like, like fiber is even remotely important at this point. Come on, game, come on. Let's let's just relax. Let's just relax. All right, boom, boom, boom. There's some easy fiber, ladies and gentlemen. And voila. This should do it. I am. I don't know why. I am so pumped for this tape jara, and I'm not even sure what it is. I, I have no idea why I'm as pumped as I am about it because I really shouldn't be. But at the same time, man, it's a freaking tape, Jara. All right, all right, Anakin. Anakin. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's let's not let's not mar this with other things. Being oh, you are quick as a bunny, but you are you are weird, huh? You're a little bit weird. Oh, look at that! Oh, it can back, it can shift backwards. What? What does the C option do? I don't... I don't... What? Does the C option just make it go low to the ground? I don't understand. Oh, C! Oh, that's so cool! So if you hold down C, it actually goes straight downward. So like, watch. Meep, meep, meep. Parking the booty. Boom. Done. That's insane. And this thing, it can hold a fair bit of weight as well. It's not like some kind of little nerd. It's, it's, this thing's, it's actually quite sizable. Okay, let's take a look at you. Oh, you are, you are something, huh? You are, it's really like a really cool pterodon is what it is. All right, let's take a look at the survival. I want to look at the dossier file for this bad boy. So let's see. Tape Jara. Tape. This is probably like, and before, this is something that you're expected to tame at the very start of the game. It's like, yeah, it's a simple tame and blah, blah, blah. And here I am like sweating bullets, just being like, all right, you have to make the incision right above. It's, I don't know, something smart. Insert, insert smart medical thing here. And then you have to insert smart medical procedure here. And then you can achieve wonderful things. Why, why can't I not see it? Tapey? Tapey. Ah, oh, tape jar. There we are. View dossier. Common name, tape jar. I don't know if I'm saying that. It's probably like tape yara or something like that. Or tapiara. Tapiara sounds good. I'm going to call you tapiara. I'm going to call you tapioca. Tapioca Imperator. Cretaceous period and is also carnivorous. Temperament is skittish. Boy, do we know. All right. Uh, wild. The ta I can't do it. <laughs> the tapiara, I'm gonna assume it's tapiara. I have no idea if that's actually proper or not, but tapiara is a marvel to watch in the wild. It has astonishing agility compared to the island's other flyers, thanks in large part to the rudder-like fin that extends from its snout to the back of its skull. Okay, so it's referring to this thing right here then. Initially, I thought the fin was simply composed of keratin, but closer inspection has led me to believe that it's actually some kind of sensory organ. Not only does it decrease tapiara's turning radius even at high speeds but it apparently provides tapiara with extra information to help it fly through the air with unparalleled grace i've even seen tapiara hover and strafe side to side in the air without moving forward at all it's quite remarkable 
The creature also makes effective use of razor sharp claws to latch onto surfaces such as the trunks of tall trees, holding its position in death. It's just like a bat. Okay, let's see. Domesticated. Warlike tribes appear to consider Tapiara the equivalent of a versatile rotor aircraft capable of rapid positional changes and aggressive agility. When domesticated, the Tapiara is typically outfitted with a unique dual rider saddle, enabling a passenger to wield handheld weaponry, weaponry while the pilot takes the reins. And when the Tapiara is latched onto a surface, both the passenger and the pilot are able to make full use of their weapons together. Oh, no way! Evidently, what this skittering creature lacks in distance stamina uh, constitution and weight carrying capacity makes up for maneuverability and combat versatility. Interesting! Okay, so this thing is actually meant to be... Okay, hold on. Let's give this a try. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna see what this is about now. Let's let's just go... I don't know. This, this, this right here looks like a good cliff. Alright, so can I just like... How, how does one... Okay, that, that clearly wasn't how to do that. How how do we grapple? Um, here, let's try to do it on maybe a larger thing. Let's try to do it on one of these bad boys right here. Drink some water. <gasps> I'm Spider-Man! Oh my gosh. This is so cool. So if you hit spacebar, it literally lands. Okay, but it's not it's, it's not entirely uh, the smartest in terms of getting this done. Right now, I hit spacebar once, and it's like, you want me to land on the ground? Got it, boss. No, 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 Oh, that is too neato, neato. This has to be like the coolest thing ever. All right, all right, all right. Enough, enough, enough being a nerd. I wonder if it works. It says it works on trees. I wonder if that means redwoods. It probably means redwoods is what it means. But still, if this isn't the coolest thing ever. Can't, I, <laughs> I don't think this would be a thing, but can you grapple onto Titus? <laughs> Can you, can you just grab him? No. <laughs> it, it was, it was a long shot within a long shot, but it was, it was a shot that I needed to take. Oh my lord, that is so neat. Oh, I can, I can, I can. <laughs> don't want to make a drive. <gasps> this is hysterically great. This has to be one of my proudest accomplishments in all of Ark. I know it wasn't with like kibble and stuff, and that's what you would have to do on an actual regular server, but man, I am darn proud. That is so dope. And all right, so let's let's take it on, let's take it on a little test drive here. So this is its regular speed. Nothing too crazy. And this is a shift sprinting. It is a fair deal faster. It is definitely a fair deal faster. Okay. And now let's see. I don't suppose this would be the case, but let's try to pick up Nikola. Yeah, no, Nikola's too big. Um, so what that would pro... Okay, so we have confirmed. And look at this stamina. It's actually not... It's, it's definitely not like a super stamina, like gifted critter per se but it's not bad okay so it, it, it does attack with its beak it's not like an Argentavis where it can like thrash things thank you for your help Lister Saurus um can you harvest no it doesn't look like you can harvest that alright so let's do combat with this raptor here Ooh, it struck. Oh wait, but I can just oh, I can just hit back. Okay, so damage-wise, obviously a lot to be desired. It's it's definitely not the uh, it's definitely not the creme of the crop. But it's even its damage is not like the most lackluster thing in the world. It's actually not too bad. 
All things said and done, it could be way worse. Oh, this is pretty bomb. I'm not gonna lie. It would take quite a bit to outdo it. Although I will say that the Rock Elemental and the Wyvern both sound really, really dope. I'm not gonna lie. Those are pretty awesome. And at the end of the day, the Giga will always have a very special place in my heart, as well as the T-Rex, honestly. Both of those things have a pretty special place in my heart. But this is pretty cool. If you have friends, this would be amazing because you can you can fly around oh you know what this also means this is the first flying mount that does not require a platform saddle with passenger right so what this could theoretically mean is this is going to be a really a, 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 it's stupidly good way to go tame things like um your uh whatchamacallit your quetzals and stuff at the start and actually truth be told you could even you could even tame more of these guys if i had friends Kappa. But interesting. All right, let's go ahead and land land our little friend here. Oh, absolutely outstanding stuff. All right, cool. So, anyways, <laughs> we we have our our tapiara, our tapioca ball, Anakin. Oh, it's seventy nine. That's nuts. Okay, you stop being a nerd. I really need to relax. <laughs> All right, so we are level sixty five, and we of course are kind of looking around and do other things. I think I want to celebrate. I want to do something crazy. Let's do something crazy. Um, yeah, I'm okay. I'm, I'm game. Oh, let's, let's, let's try something a little bit on the crazier side. So we have ourselves. Hmm. I don't, I really, really don't want to risk tapioca. I like how we named it Anakin and then I proceed to call it tapioca and it'll forever be known as tapioca in my brain now. But, I'm going to go ahead, and we are going to... Actually, I need to stop here first. We need to start collecting the resources we need for um, the cannon, right? Actually, and I guess before we even consider that, really, what we need to do is... I need to see if I have the Engram points for it. So, we need a Paraster Saddle, a Paraster Platform, and then a cannon in order to tame a Rock Elemental. And, of course, with cannon comes the not need for learning how to make a cannon ball, which... Turn is gonna need a whole bunch of other things, which is great. All right, gunpowder. Nope, that's uh, gun power. Yes, I wish to have the power of a thousand guns. All right, gunpowder, simple bullet, and then that will feed into a cannonball. All right, very cool. All right, so let me see here. I guess I have to go to the smithy. Is where I need to go. So smithy, oh smithy, of mine. Let me see what I need. For a Paraser platform saddle, I am going to need silica pearls. We actually have the exact amount that we need in here already. We're going to need a little bit more metal, some more fiber, but fiber is like LOL. They're done. All right, fiber is done. Um, a hide, which... done. Um, and now we just need 18 metal ingots, which I believe I actually already have. So we actually just satisfied all the things that we need for the saddle. So we actually could go tame ourselves a Paraser right now, and we could... We could put a cannon on there. Now, we also need to make a cannon, right? So it's not just like that's the end of it and we're done. We do need to make a cannon. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that, that was a, that's, that's where it gets you. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and start this process. I need 150 hide. So I'm just going to go ahead and flop that into there. Four hide short. Rolling my eyes right now. All right, um,. I'm also gonna need a little bit of thatch and stuff like that. But the real big thing here, of course, is going to be naturally the cementing paste as well as the metal. Now, honestly, tapiar might be not a bad idea for this. Because tap these things. How much do you hold? This one currently can hold 514.8. And because we're gonna be doing these as rapid runs, it's not really very important to me. Um, that we have too many of them. Yeah, it should. It, I think it will travel faster and all that stuff. So, let's let's start off with that. Let's go. Let's go hunting down our metal. Let's get our refining forges processing some of that metal, and then we can be on our merry way. Because 900 metal is is quite a sizable amount. But to think of it a different way, that means because we don't have the super like LOL forge, right? So we do have to kind of do this the kind of time consuming way as it is already. So what we're going to end up probably doing here is uh, playing it a little bit on the safe side. And we're just going to slowly ferry things over. 
I also do need to the chagrin of these bugs as I, I do need to kill some of these guys for their chitin. No, I can do it! Aha! I am the legend. Alright, 64 chitin. Very, very good. And then let's get this going. Now, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of questions <laughs> as to how we're going to be doing the Pariser. And the reason why I'm saying a Pariser is not that I'm going to try to kite it. I'm not going to try to solo kite the thing. I'm sure it's possible. I just don't I don't want to do it. Um, the idea would be that we would want to put the Pariser on... I would have to maneuver it onto like the ridges and mountains. And then from there be able to move it. Because the thing is, once I put the cannon down the ground, I don't want it locked onto the ground in one spot and then just be stuck there forever. That would be uh, counterproductive. So that does not make a whole lot of sense to us. I don't know why I came back. Oh, I know why I came back here. I need to drop off some stuff. All right, let's go see. I have... Was it cooing from you? Were you cooing? No, that's Draboa. Are you warning me of weather? Oh crap, I, I crouched on the ground. Well, uh, I hate it when I do this. All right. I think that, I think, I think that Drabo is trying to warn me about weather. So I think we have inclement weather incoming. All right, let me go ahead, store off some other things here. Let's put the parachutes away, the bolas away, and grappling hooks away. I think we're good with that. Okay. I need to sign off and then sign back in. Because obviously, I'm glitching the ground. I can't move. So we need to go ahead and log back in. I don't know what it's going to give me. I don't know what the Jerboa is different. Like, I can't coo. I'm not, I'm not a Jerboa. But, you know, like, I don't know, like, whatever the case may be. I can't, I don't understand its language. So we have to go ahead and see what it's going to give us. But we do have some inclement weather coming. Uh, hopefully the only thing that would really screw us is if we had, well, the only thing that would screw us over is if we, if we really have bad luck, it would be a sandstorm. Because sandstorm, I, there's just no two ways about it. You just have to sit down and wait, right? If it starts to give us a thunderstorm, as far as I know, those things don't do jack to me. I think I, I've heard... People say things like it will mess with my electronics and stuff, but I, I couldn't care less. So it doesn't really bother me too terribly much. I don't I just don't know what I don't think there is maybe a heat wave thing or whatever it's called. The super heat. That could be a potential option for something else that could happen to us. But I'm not entirely sure. But regardless, let me go ahead. I need to remember never to crouch when I'm in here though. That is actually going to be the end of me one day. Right, let's go ahead. Throw in some spoiled meat to there. Throw. Can I help you? I mean, you're already here. If I can. Are you, are you going to die from that? You may want to fall asleep now. There you go. <laughs> it's just like, you, you, you probably want to fall asleep right about now. Even, even just playing dead at this point is probably a better option for you than whatever is about to happen. All right, let's give it a couple of Mayo Berries. It'll be fine. Give some narco berries too. Keep it knocked out because this this thing's torpor drops like a rock. Let me tell you, it drops quite rapidly, rapido, rapido. All right, so that's happening. Let's take a look here. We're being weighed down by, of course, the wood and stone. Those are the obvious candidates for removal. So let's go ahead and remove the stone. Free galley because why not? Sorry about the abuse, by the way. Just. It's the only way you see reason, Gally. It's the only reason that you're not dead. Because you came around. You came around to the quay side of the force. Alrighty, and I think it's in good shape now. Okay, so. Got ourselves a galley. We're out of absolutely nowhere. 
and our weight is now looking far more acceptable. I say we start making metal runs. And let's do it. I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, why don't I just bring the Argentavis and then have the Argentavis run it with you? The reason for that is that the amount of time between trips will increase. Now, granted, you could go for these trips at a longer interval, like, or like more per haul, and then each haul is a little bit slower and that's worth it. But in my understanding of the way that this will probably end up working, I'm not bringing in Kyla over, right? And also, the, the metal nodes are sort of spread out, and having a little bit more flexibility about speed and where I'm going and kind of doing it on my own terms will probably, at the end of the day, be more important. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it will probably be a little more important. I am also butt naked. Let's get some clothes on. All right, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to expose myself so indecently. Is that tape Jara being like a little nerd? So can I pick up raptors? Can I just be like, nope? Or are we are we like pterodons? We can't. We can't. Okay, I don't think we can pick them up. All right. You wanna go? You wanna go, mate? Oh, look at look at look at Anakin go. The force is strong in this one. Hello, oil bug. Howdy doodly. Goodbye. And take some oil. All right, and then let's go ahead and harvest some of this metal out of this rock right here. And before it's an infinity stone, and then I'm going to be wrong. 150. It officially becomes a legit super stone if it passes up 350. That's whenever it's like, wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. This is pure madness. Are you kidding me? And eighty one. Wow, that is absolutely nuts. All right, um, so here's what we have to do I'm gonna have to throw these two on the ground. JK, I'm gonna have to put a little bit more than that to put that on the ground as well. Get some thatch real quick. Uh, yeah, I think you are probably our closest bet. All right, let's go get some thatch, make some wood, make a storage chest thing, and then we'll just deposit it in there for now. Alrighty. And wonderful. Okay, so let me go ahead storage box. We don't need a very big one. We can use a very simple, humble one. Go ahead, store in some of that metal goodness. And then, boom, boom. There we go. Nice chunk of metal there. Ooh, I am pushing it. I am pushing it with the weight. But, hey, you know what? It works, it works. Okay, so remember, the weird pointy rock is where we need to go back to. I think my... Tapiera friend does not like what I have done to it from the weight. I apologize that I am fat and my booty is large. But don't you worry. Okay, it's alright. I think it's doing okay, actually. Now, the question here is, what do we also level up with this Tapiera? Because, on one hand, I feel like it's a completely legitimate strategy to increase its movement speed to absolute max and just have like a Mach 10, like, like a super speed Tapiera. But, on the other hand... Like, maybe it would be better to make it more versatile, have it be able to hold more weight. That is a gold drop. I can get that gold drop. I'm going to go get that gold drop. I don't know. I don't know what would be the ideal situation here. 
It's really a toss-up in my head. Because in my head, I'm thinking to myself, if it's a movement speed one, I can cover the map really quickly. I think it will be, I think, minus the Wyvern, which might give it a run for its money, it should be the fastest mount on Scorched, I think. I can't think of what would possibly be faster than that. Uh, I don't, like, obviously, excluding stupid things, but even the stupid things, I don't think I'd outrun it. So I would imagine speed would probably be the best. And it would also cut down travel times between us and, like, quote-unquote objectives, right? Sick drop, boys. Lit drop. Absolutely top-notch. 10 out of 10 would, would pick up again. But let's see here. Yeah. I'm thinking to myself, speed would probably be the right bet here. But let's go ahead and start moving over some metal. We're just going to start the process here. Probably cover that metal. Maybe do a note or two more. This is actually quite quick. <laughs> if I, I just need to get a whole bunch of level 120 WRs and I'll be fine. Kappa. But no, in seriousness. In seriousness, we, uh, we've we got ourselves a pretty good system here, I think, to start off with. And we got some more oil. Which I'll drop into there happily. And... I also have a ludicrous number of bolas, which I did not realize I had so much of. Right, let's go ahead and store that in there. Store that width as well. And do you place this on the ground? How does this work exactly? Oh, you do. Okay, good. Here, we'll put that, like, right here. So you're preserving salts to make them last longer. Fair enough. Meanwhile, my spark powder has been sitting there for the better part of a decade. Alright, and then let's go ahead. Mm, yeah, we're in good shape here. Let's go ahead and do another run. Yeah, okay, so. Uh, Arca. What is an Arca? Is that in, is it in Scorched Earth? What's an Arca? People are telling me about things I've never heard of before, so I'm quite confused. I don't know. I don't know what people are talking about. There apparently there's an Arca, which is apparently something else that I can find eventually, and apparently it's quite strong. The Archaeop an Archaeopteryx? An Arche! I'm going to call it an Archie. Archie. Archie, Archie, Archie. But Archies apparently are pretty cool. Oh, this is so weird! It's like a free-flowing, it's just like, zoom, zoom, I can like, strafe like a madman. Meow. Sorry, I'm being weird. Alright, let's see. Let go ahead, pick this up. Or right, Anakin, let's go ahead, head back down. I do think movement speed. Yeah, all right. I want this Tapiara to be the fastest thing in the West because, and realistically speaking, I think the Wyverns can also hold a lot more weight than the Tapiaras can. Um, I think they're also a smidge, maybe maybe a smidge better for combat, a smidge. And uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, hopefully, with any, with any, wait, yes, with any degree of luck, we're going to be in for a good thing by having this invest into movement speed. Because movement speed should be flat, right? Movement speed should always be whatever you roll and nothing else. So I think we'll be rocking a pretty quick mount. And honestly, having 200 extra weight and it still being able to hold up, I think that's perfectly fine. But let me go ahead down. All right, let's go ahead and start leveling our friend up here. Hmm, respectable. You know what? And this one's going to pass up that 200 mark pretty easily, actually. So if we if we end up playing this for any significant duration of time, we're going to be in for a good one. Oh, looks like my turbine's on. The light is on, and yet this is on? Wait, no, 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 ah! no, 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 you're supposed to be off.
Weird. It's not turning off automatically. Hmm, I don't know. Alright, whatever. Whatever the case may be. Neither here nor there, I suppose. I should probably shut it off, though. For the time being. I think the only thing that we have in there is an Argentavis egg. So, should be fine. All right, now let's go ahead and drop down. Let's put more of this raw metal into here. Because that's already what, we've already deposited 200 metal, the actual metal ingot, not just like the raw metal, but we've deposited 200 metal ingots worth of metal in there already. So this actually shouldn't be too terribly bad. Just, I can't shake that notion in my head though that this would be so good if I had a Quetzal. I wonder if the best beast of burden is the Wyvern though. Or is it this arc, arc thing? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, we probably... I, I'm not going to repair also about the electrical generator because some people have been asking about this. The electrical generator we're going to leave alone. And the reason why we're leaving it alone is I don't want to like constantly be repairing it. And I also don't want to like repair for more than what I'm repairing is worth, if that makes sense. Because, like, if it, let's say that it's taken damage and it's, like, on intervals, like, or on integers, right? So, number, like, one, two, three, four. Instead of doing one, two, three, and four, if I do, it's, if it has, like, any kind of fraction in there. So, if it was, like, one and, 1 1.3 or, like, one and four quarters. Four quarters is two. One and, one and three quarters. I know math. Don't question me. All right. But if it's, if it's talking about something like that, I think you only repair, you are forced to go to the fullest integer. So it would round up and be like, even 1.1, .1, it would round you up to two. So I don't want to over repair it. It's a very small difference, but I figure I might as well save myself the trouble. Um, the Arca is small, but you can use it as a parachute. Interesting. I have no idea where the Arca is. I don't even know where to find one. I don't even think I've seen one before. Yeah, this trip is actually not too bad. Arkies are vulture sized? Hmm. They are small. They're small little critters. Gliders? Oh, I think I know what they are actually. I think I know, but not from Ark. I think I've heard about them before. Are they real critters? Like, did they used to exist? You know what I... Mm, I know where I know him from. I know him from Minecraft. <laughs> that's, that's where I know mine from. I was, I was wondering. I was like, I wonder where that's from. But now I know. Also, I hope you guys appreciate the uh, smooth jazz for this episode that was brought to you by Anakin. Because... Oh, you know what? I'm going to moonwalk all the way back. <laughs> okay, no, I'm not. It's so much slower. Is it so much slower? Maybe it's not. I thought it was so much slower, but maybe it's not. I don't know. Alright. They eat chitin. Okay. They're like micro raptors. There's a Pokemon based on them. Your hard work paid off. Yee. Oh, man. Oh, That was well worth it, I think. The struggles of an episode turn into the fortune of an episode. That's what that's what it's all about though, isn't it? It's all about that turnaround, mate. I don't know what what horrible accent that was, but it was definitely not anything. Alright, let's go ahead, head back down. That's gonna be another good 90 right there. And you know what? I think I think everyone gets the idea. I don't think I need to go ahead and do this on camera or anything like that. I might as well just poke around at this during random times later on. So I'm gonna head call it there for the episode, everyone. And woof. It may not have been a very long episode because we obviously have a lot of prep work to do in between. If you'd like to always come join us on Twitch, I'll probably be streaming the grind work at some point. I probably won't post grind work just because I think that Scorched Earth, even I had expected this to be a mini series, admittedly, but it's already turning into like a longer series. So I'm going to go ahead and probably do some grind work off camera for this particular part because it's really just amassing tons and tons and tons of metal. Um, I will obviously record the part where we get the Pariser because that, that has to happen at some point. Um, I, I don't think I'll get too many levels off of mining. If I do, 
I might record some of the grind, but I, I'm not planning on doing it. So we'll see. We'll see what all ends up going down. But we have been making some good headway here. And, of course, now that we have our good luck charm here, who's pooping like a champ, that we can... I think we've got some good things in our future. So, all right. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, consider leaving a like rating down below for Anakin. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and want to see what's going on next. and want to be alerted to just when that happens. And I'll see you guys. A baby. I mean, it's not an actual baby. It's not fertilized, but... Baby. But anyways, have a wonderful, safe day. Take care. And... Did you invite a friend over? Are you a couple? Okay, I know this is going to seem really harsh and stuff, but don't worry. We've done this before. We're professionals. It's fine. I know it doesn't look like it should be fine, but it's perfectly fine. You're just going to have to trust my... You're just going to have to trust me on this one. This guy is fine. I just... My Jerboa has been living alone, and I feel bad for that, so... All right, here. Let's go ahead and pick you up. I brought you a husband. Aw, they're in love. You know what? Actually, we haven't checked on our dung beetle. What have you been up to lately? Just been sitting on some poop? Just been, uh, just been hanging out with some poop there? Just, uh, just, uh, sitting on that poop? Alright, Jerbo, I know, I know you pooped out a little bit here. I need it. I need the poop. Alright, and then let's go ahead and drop this off. That is such weird, weird, weird timing. Just... There are some times in Ark when you just, you're convinced that there's like a ghost watching you play the game. It's just really, really, really creepy. But let me go ahead and drop this off. Also, actually before we even call it, I, I keep doing these like weird outros where it's like, we're leaving, just kidding, we're not really, <laughs> got him. But we also should probably check on our crops here. They look like they're midlings. They're all midlings at this point. So I do want to take a look at our species Y. Because I don't, I don't know what species Y looks like as a midling. Okay, it literally just looks like a bigger a bigger zit. Nice. It's a big zit. Got it. Big zit. All right. Big zit away. All that stuff. All right. Anyways, for real, we'll see you this time, guys. Have a wonderful set. Take care. And ciao for now.